I think it's working. Hi, y'all. Oh, my God. Ha-ha. <laughs> I got it to work. Did it work? It works. Awesome. All right. Okay. How are y'all doing? We actually got Facebook to work the right <coughs> way today. <laughs> so, we didn't even need all this other stuff. That's okay, though. All right. So... We're gonna do, we're gonna do a, um, like a beach kind of theme tonight. Why does that seem like it's kind of dark over here? Let me kind of move this light a little. There we go. All right, so let's do this. So we're gonna be doing this um, salty soul. Isn't this cute? I really like this. So it has like a turtle on it and it's still beach weather actually it's like the beginning of beach weather right so this is the good time to do it all right so we're gonna do yeah share bears here we're gonna do hello uh, <laughs> we're gonna do poof so this is some new mesh we got in it's kind of almost like a basket weave isn't that pretty i love this stuff so it's kind of a like a almost like a turquoise blue and then we have teal and our focal ribbon is this turtle see our little turtle and it has both turquoise and teal so it has turquoise at the outside and teal so kind of worked out perfect so i thought um yeah let's do that all right, so let's get kind of zoomed in here, and we'll get started. Hello, hello. All right, so I haven't finished cutting all of the ribbon, so I'm going to do that. Well, let me tell you first. So we're going to do poof with this, ruffle with the teal. Oh, y'all can't see. So poof with this, ruffle with the teal, and then we'll cut some of this to do curls with to put on top of here. Okay. Let's kind of move this over. We'll get this cut. So I've already cut half. Awesome. Well, we're glad you're here. Why can I not see comments on that? Oh, there we go. Now I got it. Okay. Y'all, and I finally figured out the Mevo with Facebook. It's a process. But I got it down now. All right. So we're going to do 12 inch. I like to do my ribbons together because I don't want to have to do it. I want to do it twice. I don't want to do it four times. So that's why I do them together. So all you do is go up to the 12 inch. Okay, and I tell you, I almost cut too many a while ago because I wasn't paying attention. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we just need one more. It's easy when you're whipping through them like this to accidentally cut too many. <laughs> so you kind of have to count and see where you are. Okay, this is a sign and ribbon set. I don't know if I told y'all. It is. Okay, so we'll kind of just move this. And we're using kind of a light blue. We're kind of using the light blue base. I like this base. And the sign kind of combines, you know, kind of shades of these colors together. So it all works very well together. In, in your cart? <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll just put these in the center. 
Sorry, honey. That was my husband, y'all. <laughs> I think he forgot. Okay. Or maybe I forgot to tell him that I was going on later. It's totally possible that it was my fault and I didn't tell him. <laughs> okay, one. I'm going to count while I go around. Two, three, four, five. I always do this because with these frames, sometimes they'll have one of the ties kind of up instead of down. And so I just like to make sure they're here. So that's the one that I'm talking about. It's kind of in the middle, so it's okay. It's not really gonna pose a problem. What do you want? You, you wanna change something out? Yeah, send it to orders. Orders at hardworkingmom.com. Okay, here we go. Let's cut this up. As you can see, I like to do it in as few steps as possible. Are sea turtles one of your favorites? I like turtles. And I like anything beachy. I like beachy stuff. This would be cute with like shells on it too. Turtles, mm -hmm. little seashells, little driftwood. That would be cute. That would be cute. Like a little driftwood sign. Mm hmm. Okay. There we go. Alright. So we're going to start off with poofs. So y'all know I like to do, I like to do my poofs using zip ties. We are making a salty soul wreath. Right, so this basket weave is really nice because it's really stiff. See how it's nice and stiff? So it's perfect for doing poof. Bella's not feeling so hot, but she's getting lots of little attention over there. So what I like to do is gather it up at the end here I'll take a zip tie and I'll tie it right before a tie and this zip tie will act as my first tie the reason I do that is so when I come back around and tie it in this tie you're not going to be able to tell where I started and where I stop let's see what you say oh you love it when people make stuff. It's relaxing. It is, right? Okay. It really is. So I have a special little thing I like to do because I like to, like I said, I like to go as fast as possible. I used to do it. I'm sure if you saw my older stuff, I would go one, two, three, and then I would put it in. Now I'll just go from, because not everybody can do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> that they're saying no. I'll yeah, go to the first. Some of us never figured that out. <laughs> I'll go to the first tie, then I'll go to the second tie. I'll come back to the first tie. And the reason I do this is because they're going to be consistent all the way around. Because the ties are going to be pretty consistent. They might be off slightly, but they're not going to be off a lot. All right. And that way, you're going to get consistent poofs all the way around. Yeah, that trick I can do. That that trick works. One, two, three. <laughs> The one, two, three, she says that doesn't work. It worked for me, it but... It worked great for you. I don't know how the hell you did it. I could not figure it out to save my soul. That's if okay. My, if my life had depended on figuring out that trick, I would not be with you today. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, that's my, my poor little poofs, some of them would be so small, they were pathetic. Some of them would be so big, it was like, oh... <laughs> So we're going approximately 10 inches. If you like to measure things out, you can measure it out. You can do it on your board. You can do it with your comb, right? So this right here is 10 inches. You could pull it up 
get to your 10 inches and then go down and place it in. To me, that takes too long. I would rather pull it across to that second one and come back. Is then I don't have to pick something else up. It just makes it a lot faster, I think. You don't have to worry about lining it up right on your mat. Hello, how are y'all? Okay. Yep, you don't have to line it up. Yeah, that, you don't even need your mat. That trick works. <laughs> it does. This trick works. And it's it not does. complicated. No, it's not complicated. <laughs> it doesn't take mental math. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't like it if it takes math. <laughs> One thing I will say, you want to keep... My brain is not 20 years old anymore. <laughs> you want to keep your rough edges kind of tucked in. One, two, three for you either. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to take these little rough edges and kind of... Like tuck them in together. What I like to do is kind of cut my hand around it like this and then just go one, two, and then come back. What are you partying after? Wait a minute. I, I can I, I need to be invited to this party. Yeah. This party the mesh. It, it's just deco mesh, but it looks like window pane to me because it has, it's called vertical stripe. But it looks like, it looks a lot like window pane because it has that kind of, you know, see-through look, appearance. So when you get back, see we're back to where we started, okay. So now we're going to still do that same thing. You're just going to still go to that second one, just kind of squash that one down. It's not going to hurt it. Come back. There. There we go. All right. So now we've gotten all the way around. And you see with our little trick, you can't tell where we started and where we stopped. So that's why I like to use the zip tie because then I don't have to kind of go over and do a second one. It just comes out much cleaner. I just like that. Sometimes they're not spaced evenly, but that's why we skip two because between the two, it should be pretty consistent. So don't worry. It's gonna be, um, close enough that you're not going to be able to tell a difference between the poofs. <clears throat> All right, so I'll open the top. Then I'm going to take this mesh. I'm not going to cut it off because that just takes too much time, I think. I'm just going to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to zip tie it again. Right? Yeah. Hi, Mama. So we just bring it up. This will get covered as we're going through. And I'll tie it right before. So I go up in an angle. I tie it before a tie. And just like we did on the bottom, we're not gonna do anything with this tie. We're gonna start going all the way around. And when we come back to this, this is where we'll finish off. Okay, so make sure you have the edges tucked. So if you don't have the edges tucked, that's when you're going to get those uneven poofs. So if you ever have where your poofs are just looking really wonky, usually it's because these edges are not tucked under. So go to one, go to the second one. I kind of go diagonal like this, then come back. So your poofs on the top generally a little bit smaller because it is a little bit smaller area. So I go to this one, to this one, then back. You just need to tie it one good time. Doesn't have to be a lot. Make sure you keep track of those edges because they, this one is kind of like a turquoise and this is the teal. Aren't those look so pretty together? I think so too. 
It has almost kind of turquoise and teal in here. It's kind of like a like a cool combo. They have a whole bunch of mesh um, recently that's coming out and it, a lot of it is this. And I really like this color, so I thought, well, let's get it tried out. Okay. Isn't it pretty? I love turquoise too. Does it look like teal? I mean, it, it kind of is. It kind of does look like it. Doesn't it? What? Look like teal. That color? Mm -hmm. oh, that's turquoise. Yeah, I mean on the frame. See on the camera? Oh yeah, yeah on the camera mm -hmm. it does. I'll pick it up and put it closer. You'll see. It's a little bit more turquoise. It just kind of, I think when we get the teal across it, it'll look more. It's just sometimes on the camera, it looks a little different. Yep, it's a wreath. There, back. So we're back to where we started. It does, it is textured. So it's like, almost like an open weave. That's why I said it's kind of like basket weave. All right, so here's where we started. See, there's our zip tie, here's our ties. So we'll do the same thing, get our spacing right, come back. Then when we tie it down, just like the bottom, we can't really tell where we started and where we stopped. So you see how consistent and finished it looks? So that way it just, everything flows well and you don't have like a double loop or anything like that. So then we'll trim this off. Okay, then I'll just take this piece, flip it around the back, just like that. Take my third zip tie, I'll tie this down. Do you love your practice ribbon? Awesome. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, we created a new thing for our um, signs that have like little blemishes on them, like a, like a grab bag thing. You get like a box, a mystery box, and they're essentially like $2 a sign. Most of them just have like little, like a little piece on the corner or something where the color didn't go through. So if y'all are looking for inexpensive I'm not done I'm not done Robin I promise all we did is the poof absolutely you can add knickknacks to Reese okay look how pretty that is see how nice and full all right look can y'all see the color a little better it still kind of looks a little teal on the camera we're going to cut the rest of this up, and then we will do our poofs. So this has little vertical stripes in it. It sounds nice and crunchy. <laughs> it really does, okay. So we'll do eight inch, eight inch little curls. And it does not look like it would fray. I don't think it's, it's not poly burlap for sure, because it doesn't have that plasticky feel. It's definitely deco mesh. It doesn't look like it would fray very much. I think you just have to watch where you cut it on those vertical lines. So Robin asked, is this a kit? Are you putting anything else on it? Yeah. Uh, we'll put more mesh and ribbons on it. Roman asked if this it's not, well, it's a sign and ribbon set. It is a sign and ribbon set. 
so and then of course the two mash are listed I know y'all are looking for a kit I'm trying to come up with one I promise yeah 20 inch ruffles 8 inch curls and 10 inch poofs okay this would be pretty we haven't done one with a poof in a while and this mesh is like the perfect mesh for that. Oh my, that doesn't sound like a fun weekend. Okay. There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's see if we can get two more out of it. Yeah, when you, when you put it all together, it'll, it'll equal a, it'll equal a kit. Yeah. You gotta love it when they staple it on here. Kind of makes it difficult to use that last little part. That shouldn't be considered part of the 10 yards. Just my opinion. Oh, the little <laughs> spare piece yeah. on the end? I agree. Yeah. I mean, how is that part? We'll just cut where it does that little piece. This one might be a smaller curl. But that's okay. All right. So we got our 18. I super love this mesh. I might have to get more of this. I like it. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I really like it. All right. Now, take some things out of the way here. Now we'll do our little ruffles and our curls and our ribbon okay so remember we're just doing plain ruffles so we want to lay it down flat like this you see how it wants to curl up like that if that gives you problems just put something heavy on the end and it'll keep it from trying to come back while you're working on it I'm just gonna kind of Make a little indention there. You like it when I put knickknacks and things? We'll have to work on that for next time. Okay. And we just go straight up the middle, make our ruffle, place it down, get our little curl, do our little curl. Because we want to bring this color back to the top because we don't want to lose it. And then we'll get our ribbon. So remember, if you want to see the turtle, then you would put your one and a half in the back. I cut my ribbons at 12 inches, and then I always have enough to do the wreath and a bow. But I only use 12 inches. Okay, so we'll pull it out, pull our little curls up, make sure our ruffles are spread out because we want to see all the colors. <laughs> Robin, what is that new doodad you have? Oh, <laughs> that is a deco mesh ruffle tool that I created just to make ruffles. See how that wants to curl up like that? And it gets slightly annoying. Hello. So what you do is you, all I'm doing is tucking it under so that if it frays, I'm not going to see it. You take the, just so y'all know, you take the deco mesh tool, you want the mesh to go in where this opening is, 
Okay, and then you just push it with your thumb, just like that, and it will ruffle it for you. I'm just tucking that end in. Because I don't, if I, you know, if I have frays on the ends, having it tucked under like that, hi, will keep it from, you know, being obvious when I put it in the room. It'll hide it. Ooh, this is going to be nice and full. I can tell already. Okay, so we're going to alternate ribbons. So we have these two. So we have the turquoise and the teal. And then we have that turtle that has both colors and then a little bit of tan. Okay. So place this in. And you can just kind of tuck in your ties because they will also act as part of the wreath right because it's all in the same color scheme so kind of gives it a little extra oomph, a little extra piece why is that there okay <laughs> i had to take that away it would We actually got some of this mesh that it's in orange and teal. Okay, we got another color, but I can't remember what color. But we'll we'll use them in something. You want me to go investigate? You sure can. Let's see what colors we got. Besides, she likes to go look and see what's new. Well, you know. <laughs> I told her we're getting 720 ribbons next week, and she said I'm coming early. We had some of the turtle just by itself, but I think we've sold out of just the turtle. We usually put them in sets because um, it's more economical for people. So that's kind of why we do that. I don't like to do my ribbons 13 or 14 inches. And, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I do mine at 12 inches. The reason I do mine at 12 inches is because you go through a lot to put, you know, all of your mesh on. And when you use 13 or 14 inch ribbon, all you see is the ribbon. And then you can't see the mesh. And you kind of lose all of that work you did. Can I do, I can make one, but I can't sell anything that's Disney related because it's trademarked. I wish I could. I could make one and give it to my family or my brother or something. I know, aren't these colors pretty? I think so too. <laughs> you want to come too? <laughs> I know, I'm excited. I can't wait till it gets here. There we go. These are the three I see besides that one. Oh, that's right. It was the purple. The purple so this and orange. It. Purple and orange. Isn't that pretty? This looks like the last roll of this. Oh. That's the, uh, oh yeah, that's the right. The natural. The natural. And then the orange and teal, which orange is stunning. Orange and teal. See how pretty that looks with that? See, now can you tell that's that kind of same color? Yeah, it's pretty. Purple and orange, but how to win? I would love to make that stuff, but I tell you, you can get in big trouble. People don't always get caught doing that, but they can eventually. And they'll lose their shop and they'll get fined pretty heftily so so um, the ruffle tool is in my shop it's just shophardworkingmom.com 
You can also see it in my bio. Here we go. I need to do an unboxing with you, Share Bear. How do I get my curls to stay up? So once I put it in, I just grab them and just pull them up like this and then pull the ribbons up. And they should stay there. But you just have to do it at the end. Just pull them up. Whoops. Oh. There we go. You okay? Yep. Just learning to walk. <laughs> It's just sticking to everything. There we go. All right. Oh. Up the center. Yeah, if y'all aren't working on starting on fall and Halloween, you need to. You can still make like summer, this is like beach. So beach can go anytime because there's always a beach somewhere. Oh, let's not use that small one. Let's see, where are we at? We're at turtle. Thank you. Okay. I, you know, I don't, I hardly ever get to watch other wreath makers because I just don't have very much time. But every once in a while, I'll catch somebody, and I love it because it does. It gives you other ideas. It gives you inspiration, and that's what we should be doing for each other. We should be inspiring each other and helping each other because we're all people. And all that other crap is just that. It's just crap. We need to help each other. Because that's what we as people do. Right? Huh. <laughs> You're like, huh? <laughs> I said we should all help each other. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, the ADD thing. <laughs> Yeah, we were having this big conversation about how we have ADD earlier. <laughs> uh, I am not diagnosed. <laughs> I'm diagnosed. It doesn't make any difference. It's still the same. <laughs> there we go. She's, she's playing with Bella. This one is not a kit, but it is a sign of ribbon set. And then the mesh is in the shop. Sometimes? What's sometimes? I'm missing out on whole conversations. So that's what happens when you're trying to read three different things. <laughs> you get lost. <laughs> It happens. It happens. It happens. Uh huh. And Owls on Facebook. Yep. Okay. And y'all know I made this tool because I have fibromyalgia and my hands hurt sometimes. Especially when I'm using my uh, fingers and my thumbs all the time. And I made it so that I could make them without it hurting. Because that stinks. You go home and they're just <coughs> aching. That's just miserable. And it's hard to sleep. 
and then my shoulders get involved and it's just not fun. So I'll just skip all that. I am. I'm getting old. <laughs> I didn't say that. I just, My hands are old. I said getting old as hell. What oh, happened to yes. golden years? It's not yes. feeling very golden. I, I think, I don't know who made that up, but they lied. It's, it's like, not the golden years. They lied to me. <laughs> uh, made it sound better than it is. Yes, absolutely. We should help each other. Bella is not feeling so hot today, but she's okay. I, I just need to, I think I need to uh, have a little talk with um, the people in the warehouse about not giving her so many treats. Because she goes out there and she gives them this, you know, cute little puppy dog face. And then they're like, okay, I'll give you another one. <laughs> and then she ends up with a stomach ache. Oh, you know, it's hard. She's cute. <laughs> and she can't help but go ask for them. <laughs> she just wants them. Because they taste so good. And she gets all that attention. Oh, Molly, you can sell anything that you buy and make of mine. You all have permission to do that. You will never get a copyright anything from me. Unless you steal my design. If you buy something and make it, feel free. Please. Use my methods, all of that stuff. I am here because I'm sharing it. I don't, I'm totally okay with it. Go for it. Yeah, sell them and then you can get another one. Because, I don't know about you, but I get tired of the same one after a while. I have to have a new one. We always have a new one on our door. <laughs> My mom comes over here and shops. Yeah, don't ever feel like you can't do that. No, it's not for wimps. It sure is not. Uh, since taking care of my parents, I've told my boys, you better be prepared. And they're like, Mom, I'm tired of hearing that. I'm like, too bad, <laughs> because now I see what it's like. You better be prepared. It takes a lot. So worth it, but it takes a lot. And you get to see just how tough time can be on you. It can be very tough. Okay. So when I'm putting the ribbon in, I am kind of giving it a little curl. So with the wired ribbon, if you just kind of stick your hands under it, it'll give it that nice little curve and it'll stay there. <laughs> yeah. Well, they know. They know the drill. They know who to talk to about getting treats. They just know. Did her ears perk up? Bet they did. It does kind of remind you of Hawaii, doesn't it? That's kind of what I thought too, especially with the turtles. Share Bear's mom is doing well. I wish, is she doing okay after the? She's doing okay. Um, Denise says she's doing a lot better. The Good. antibiotics have, you know, helped and. Yeah. A lot better. Oh no, you got COVID? Nana has COVID. Aww. I know. She's doing okay so far. My sister-in-law had COVID. You can send me a picture. Um, just email it to me. It's just Lori, L-O-R-I, at hardworkingmom.com. I love to see pictures. Send me pictures. The wreath itself? <laughs> always for sale they're always for sale yeah so that's it I'm not very good about listing them but if you see one you want 
just email me and you know we can we can work it out. Yeah. Because you know we're kind of short one person right now, so some things just we don't have time to do because we're gonna make sure our stuff gets out and everything is correct and that's more important right now. Okay. So we've moved to the top. I hear it's I hear it's very tiring. Cheer Bear had it, so she said she was exhausted. Exhausted. All right, so on the top, we're gonna spread out our ribbon so we can see both. We'll get that little bit of the different color in here. Hopefully y'all get over it quickly. I hate that you got it. I was at my doctor, when was that, last week? This week, it was this week. He told me that he thought that um, the shots would just become like the flu shot, you know, where you just take them every year for whatever variants out. I tend to think he's right. Kind of like influenza. Did you have to itch? <laughs> Did I have to itch? Oh, you're in trouble if you're scratching her back. I want to scratch her back. Thank you. I know are these colors pretty. I scratch her lips. Oh, she even likes she likes that too. Five weeks. Wow, that's a long time. I wish it would go away too, but I don't think it's going to. Hopefully it just gets weaker and weaker though. That's what we can hope for. Or our scientists get smarter and smarter. One or the other. <laughs> Fellas get all kinds of fun attention. Oh, is turtles your favorite? to see if I can find some turtles. I could probably find some turtles at Hobby Lobby, I bet. Probably. We could probably make wooden turtles. I'd have to make Tori paint it because she's the painter around here. <laughs> Me, not so much. I, I do the paint by number. It's Lori, L-O-R-I, at hardworkingmom.com Yeah, I get the flu shot every year. Because I'd rather have the shot than the flu. It's miserable. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Oh, well, we're so thrilled you're here. So I don't get the flu shot anymore because I don't want the flu. <laughs> You're, well, you're like my mom. You have the reaction to the yes. shot. I have no reaction whatsoever. <coughs> I was sick for three weeks. So I don't get the shot anymore. No. My mom gets really sick with it, too. So we don't really get her the flu shot either. But it works great for me. So I had no reaction to the um, vaccines either. None. I think I felt I felt tired for a couple of hours each time. That was it. And I even had the booster because of course I take care of my parents and I want to make sure if they get sick, I'm not going to get sick because I need to take care of them. Yeah, so. I'm for another booster. Yeah. I know I got to go take my mom to get hers. Yeah. on this one. I was about to pull the wrong ribbon. Help me a 
Angie. What's going on with Paula? Okay. We still have enough? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Yeah, you know what? My husband had a really bad reaction to the shingles vaccine, too. And then, of course, once you take one, you got to take the next one. So, I'm kind of dreading that because I've had shingles and it is not that when my dad had a stroke. I got shingles. I think I was just under a lot of stress. And it was horrible. Horrible stuff. And mine wasn't even very severe. It was a pretty light case. My sister had it on her face. Oh, that would be terrible. Terrible. It was like all on her neck and on her face. That's just miserable. We try to get things out as quickly as we possibly can. We try to get things out the day that the order's placed. If it's placed, you know, within a reasonable time um, or the next day. Of course, we don't work on Saturday and Sunday, but then Monday we get everything out. So, Mondays are kind of all hands on deck. Because <laughs> we usually have more on Monday. Just because the weekend. So. Yeah, we try. My dad had shingles too. It was terrible. Terrible. His was bad. Mine wasn't very bad. It's mostly just annoying. Oh, he had it on his left eye. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible. I keep saying terrible. <laughs> but it is. It's terrible. All right. Okay. Yeah, there are turtles on the sign. Look. See the little turtle? It's like he's uh, swimming in the ocean. That has um, like little seaweedy stuff. Oh, well, if you haven't had chicken pox, you probably don't have to have shingles vaccine. Because. Like Bree has both babies home, and we saw them today, and I got to hold Jackson. And my mom got to hold Jackson. We both got to see both babies. Yep. They're doing really good. Avery's still having some problems, but, um, but she's home. She's having some um, acid reflux, but... We did make the sign, yep. Actually, this sign was made by Tori. She did a really good job, didn't she? But yeah, she's doing really good. And very thankfully, Brianna's family is stepping up as she needs a little help because you know, that's very overwhelming. To have twins at home so she's doing really good oh I'm so sorry Tanya 
Hopefully it passes quickly. Tanya got COVID, that's just terrible. I just hate that for you. I mean, I don't want it, but I'm not as worried about myself as I am my parents getting it. Bree does have an older daughter. She's, wait, how old is she? Six? Seven. Yeah. And Lynn, and she was here today, and she is being so helpful to Mommy. She's helping feed babies and all kinds of stuff, take care of babies. She said she's been awesome. She was so funny. She gets so funny when she comes in here. She always wants to... She always wants to color or paint or make something when she's here. She thinks that it's necessary when she's here at the warehouse that she needs to make something. <laughs> so she did. She made a fairy garden or something <laughs> out of boxes and paper and one of my um, styrofoam balls that has moss on it. <laughs> it was really cute. Alrighty. So we're through the whole grade. Look how pretty that is. Look how thick that is. See, and since we brought that color back on the top, you still can, now you can see some of the poof in here, but when you put ruffles on, it does kind of tend to cover it a little, which is why I like to bring the curls to the top. Then you still have that color in it it's not, you know. Look how pretty that is. See, when we make signs and we put ribbon sets together, we always make sure that it's either going to be a lighter color or has kind of a different background because as you can see, if it was the same colors, it would blend in, but it doesn't blend in because it's a much lighter color. All right. The tool, this tool, it's in my um, shop. It's just shophardworkingmom.com. All right. Let's put we're going to put this on the bottom just to kind of give it a little bit of a different color on the bottom. Okay. So we'll do our tail about eight inches. Ooh, it felt like strep pain. That's terrible. So we'll do six inch and six inch. Six and six. So you can see I've measured these things out pretty precisely. That's why everything works out exactly like, you know, <laughs> like I have them set out in the directions. Okay. Oh, Miss Bella, if you're going to start that, you need to point oh. out the other direction. Oh, no. She's got the gas, huh? She's got the gas chamber going. Oh, no. Okay, so we'll start in with the lighter turquoise. We're going to do six inch at this too. Okay. So you see, you do not have to do, there's no rule that says you have to do two and a half on the bottom and then put one and a half on top of it. Is CC on YouTube? I don't know. I haven't seen her tonight. I thought I heard you say Thank you. Mm -mm. Now, she was on last time, I think. <clears throat> so, you don't want to use paper mesh on anything that's going to go outside because paper mesh will disintegrate. You can do it as long as it's going to go inside. 
So the answer to that is yes and no. <laughs> Can you do it with this kind? Absolutely, but you don't want to put it outside. No, it won't make it sink into the wreath more. Okay. Now we're going to go to, let's go to five inch. And I can grab that little piece that was left. And we could put that on the bottom if it seems like it's gonna sink in. I don't think it will though. Because we already have those um, in the wreath, it should be okay. So I don't know if you've noticed, but we're doing all twos. So we're not doing two on, two on, we're doing two, 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 two. That kind of sounded funny, but. <laughs> smelled over here. <laughs> oh, Bella. Poor baby. I'm going to have to tell them they need to just keep not... Well, I think it's my mom. I think she might have fed her bread. Okay. <laughs> Listen. I'm no more bread, you, Ma. I'm going to need you to point that. So, we're going to do five inch with this, too. And this this is our purpose. pattern ribbon. So... Share Bear's like, I just can't take it. <laughs> so you see how when we put it on and we twist it in the middle like we do, how those turtles are like going in different directions and we don't like that. So we're just gonna take it and flip it back. It doesn't matter if you go this direction or the other direction, either way, it'll work just fine. You can also do it by hand, whatever's more comfortable for you. The poofs do help hold up the ribbon better. Yes, they do. Okay. We're going to fix that one just a second. So this one we're not going to have to flip because he's kind of coming up. See how I'm pulling him up? All right. Get our zip tie out. And a pipe cleaner. I know, poor baby. Well, she's going to the vet in a few days, so we'll have her checked. All right, so you just want to get the zip tie enough so that you can pull it out, just so it won't fall apart. Okay. And then we're looking for our indention. So you can see where that indention is, and you want to pull your zip tie around and kind of loosely hold on to your ribbon so that it won't pull with your zip tie, because it'll want to. So pull that under, and then pull it tight. I think I found, I thought I found that tool, what I do with it? I told y'all about that tool. Lord help, what did I do with it? I don't know. I'll have to find it again. I found the tool, the zip tie tool, but now I don't know where it is. Okay, so I like to keep my zip tie in the back while I fluff out my bow. And what I'm going to do is just twist it back and forth like this and fluff it up with my fingers. that so when I do two like this it means that I can space my ribbons out a little bit more so that my bow looks a little bit fuller see how it kind of makes it look a little bit fuller I like to go from the bottom to the top just makes it easier for me there we go our tails out like this. See, nice bow. Alright. Then we'll trim this off without cutting the pipe cleaner. 
I have cut the pipe cleaner before. If that ever happens, you can just take your pipe cleaner and tie it all the way around and then use that to tie it. Then we'll just take our extra little piece, tie it back here in the back. So when you put an extra piece on, you want it to go behind where your loops are because that's where it would kind of smash in. sitting on my couch folding ribbon and Brie walked in and just handed her the baby. <laughs> she sure did. She was like, here mom. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna take it. So remember, we when we put our mesh on, there's an opening on this side and on this side. So we'll take our pipe cleaners here and we'll just go on either side. See how it does not smash in. And then, we will tie it down. There we go. I, if you could find sold it without the wreath form, people might shoot me. <laughs> but you can buy the supplies without the wreath form for sure. Fluff these back up because they'll get a little smashed. So you see how putting that tan at the bottom kind of helps make the bow stand out a little bit more. Okay. All right. think of what I can't remember a fall one we did that had burgundy that was a kit I don't know I'll have to look back okay so I like to take my 26 gauge wire it's nice and thin thank you I cut about 20 inches. It is like the sand, exactly. Oh, you bought your virtual retreat ticket. Awesome. All right. Uh, some signs that are square we can make into round. It depends on the design. Some designs are hard to put on round. Thank you. But, um... Sometimes we can get it to work. Oh, that's part of the design. And sometimes we can't. <laughs> okay. But if you message me, I can look at it. Alrighty. So I just put it in and then, so we use our little hole punch, metal hole punch. And then I twist it around like that so I can kind of double it up. <laughs> yes, just tell them that you must get off because it's very important. You have to come have fun. Mandatory fun. Mandatory fun. And we're doing, um, at this retreat, we're doing a 50s night. So that's going to be fun. So every every retreat we do a different theme, and this year it's or this one it's fifties. So we're already planning out our poodle skirt. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take our weaving needle. See how nice and flexible this is, and we're going to thread our wire through there. And the great thing is it pushes right down through the mesh, so then you don't have to try to get it around. Wait, where is it? Hold on, I have to find it. 
Oh, there it is. I hadn't pushed it all the way through. I was like, where is it? And you want your sign to kind of float on the top. So you want it to kind of float on top. You want to be able to kind of put your hand under it just slightly. So kind of do that before, yeah, call in sick. Okay, yeah, message me. Okay. Yeah, we make most of our signs, so. Most of them we can do something with. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So just thread it like you're gonna thread a needle. It goes right down through the mesh. It's not gonna hurt that mesh. The mesh already has holes in it. And it makes putting the sign on so much easier. Oh my gosh, I remember when I first started making these with signs. Oh, it would take me 20 or 30 minutes to make it with the sign. Drove me insane. Now it takes a couple minutes. And mostly it's just twisting the wire around. Awesome! All right. <gasps> this turned out so pretty. Okay, we have to shake everything. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, so there's the sign. You see it? There's the bow. So there's the bow. There's the sign. Ooh, it turned out so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. I love it. Yes, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. You work at a prison. They don't know what fun is. Uh, but we need to educate them on what fun is. And you need a mental health break. That's what you need to tell them. All right, I promised y'all I was going to show y'all the new stuff we were working on. Okay. And I couldn't find them yesterday. <laughs> so I found them. All right. So we started working on rails. We did... This is an... This is a gnome one. And then we're gonna do uh, mesh on the bottom to make it look like his um, beard. And this is one of our new rails. So I haven't trimmed the edge off yet, but you can get them with or without the decal. So we just started making the decals. This was our first decal. So this one's already in our shop, but we'll be adding a whole lot more. But you can see I haven't trimmed it off yet. I just put the decal on but they're really easy to put on and then you just take an exacto knife and trim off the excess so and this down here is for the mesh so this is what we're going to be doing we'll probably do this um, maybe next week I think Tori's gonna come on I don't know if she's coming on tomorrow or Monday I can't remember and she's gonna do one of the rails She's doing, we have one with a cow in the middle, and she's going to do that. But it's more like this. So we're going to be doing these two. So then you put the mesh and the ribbon all the way around it. Although this one has to have glitter on first. <laughs> I haven't glittered it yet. I have to glitter it. It's required. <laughs> all right. It's vinyl. Yep, it's um, permanent vinyl, and it's already UV protected and all that lovely stuff. So, y'all, this is that really nice big machine that I got last year that we weren't able to use because we didn't have electricity. You remember that? <laughs> now we have electricity, and so we had to go back and relearn our machine, but now we got it, <laughs> so we're finally making them. Oh, yeah, and the plan is to try to do uh, most of our signs and decals. And a lot of the signs that we've been creating, the wood signs, we want to do some decals with them too. If you are not a painting person, like blah, you can just put a decal on it. <laughs> or you could order it with a decal already on it. Because <laughs> that's what I would do. Because, yeah. Cause that's me because <laughs> I don't want to I can like paint like this you know like basic colors not a problem I got it 
But if you have to get in there and do all these little details, not me. Remember, I had those hand problems, so I have a hard time keeping my hands steady to do it. So. All right, y'all have a great night, and um, I'll see y'all soon. I'm, I think, I think, I want to say Casey's on tomorrow, but I'm not positive. And you may see me. <laughs> I'll look as soon as I get off here, Melly. okay? All right, bye, y'all!